welcome to Kokong province, the province with the most beautiful bays in the world. Although I do think that's somewhat subjective, but beautiful nonetheless. The rolling green hills in the background. We have some small fishing boats over there. Very pleasant escape from the city. Welcome to episode two. Today we explore Kokong, not Korong, Kokong with a K, southernmost province in Cambodia. And today in this video, we are going to take you on a nature filled adventure in which we will show you our favorite beach, the famous mangrove sanctuary, some of the nearby waterfalls, together with some tricks and tips on how to get there and where to stay. This video, however, will not include Kokong Island, as this deserves a video of its own or the Cardamon Mountains up in the north of the province as we are saving that for a future adventure. When you come to Kokong, you will most likely start your trip in Krong Kemarak Fumin, the main town of Kokong province. It's a small remote fishing town with its fair share of guest houses and you can see much of the town on foot within a two hour walk. This will most likely include a visit of the waterfront and the fish market. And if you're not so keen on eating barbecued fish, we recommend eating at Anon Cafe and Restaurant. In our case, we arrived late at night by bus and so spent our first night in the town. And we are in Kokong, a new province. So we're on our evening walk. And right now we're on the waterfront. You can't see anything, neither can we, because nothing is illuminated. The lights you see here are just the lights of the fishing boats. I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow to really grasp our surroundings. So let's see what Kokong looks like in daylight. <laughs> it's really quite beautiful. So the plan today is to go to the beach and that's about it. <laughs> Which sounds like a great plan to me. So when you come to Kokong, you'll be dropped off in the little town over there. And to get to the beaches, the waterfront you have to cross this seemingly never-ending bridge and on the other side there's supposedly some beautiful beaches so we're gonna spend one or two nights there and we suggest not going by foot it is after all the second longest bridge in Cambodia believe me we tried how are you enjoying the walk, it's a long walk. for the record I suggested to take a tuk-tuk we ended up taking a tuk-tuk and once on the other side there are several beaches all are west facing so expect really good sunsets and at this point you'll also be only five kilometers from the thailand border we chose to stay in a hut on backlong beach at young wild and free and we are generally nature seeking budget backpackers so this might not be for you but we found this to be very enjoyable we have made it to our destination we're on the beach and it's not just our destination, it's we've been looking for a little bit of tranquility and peace and calm over the last few weeks and now we have arrived. So camera off and we shall relax. Young Wild and Free offers great views, really good food, friendly owners, lots of pets which is not really one of our criterias but cool. And after a swim in the calm and warm sea we freshened up got ourselves some ice cream and sat back and enjoyed a really nice sunset. Here's what I could capture. And later that night, before retreating to our hut, we sat back on the beach to see the bioluminescent plankton. Yeah, the footage is not so great. You might have to use your imagination here. Good morning from Kokong. And this is the view we wake up to. Really quite majestic. Although we would have enjoyed an extra night by the beach, time was not on our side. So the next day, we continued our adventure by going to the mangrove sanctuary. So we're back where we were yesterday. We we're trying to make our way back into town. The tuk-tuk driver quoted us $15 for what we paid $2 for yesterday. We ended up hitchhiking back to the fishing town. Thank you so much. Helmet. That was the sweetest thing. This guy offered to drive us about nine kilometers on the back of his bike. After this random act of kindness, we took a Khmer remork to the mangroves. And to go from place to place, you can either get one of these Khmer remorks, which is essentially a trailer pulled by a motorbike, or you can rent your own motorbike for anywhere from six to eight dollars a day. You do have to negotiate for what you believe is a fair price, which is normally 50% less than the initial offering. 
So we're now at the mangrove sanctuary here in Kokong. And as you can see, we are surrounded on all sides by beautiful mangroves. It's a really nice escape from the midday heat. We're here in the shade, walking along these beautiful paths. Let me take you on a little tour. So if you look over here, you have mangroves. If you look over here, you have mangroves. If you look up above, you have mangroves. <laughs> we didn't do any research, so. I don't have much else to say. I have since done some research on this sanctuary and this is a 25,000 hectare mangrove forest, one of the biggest in Southeast Asia and it has one kilometers of walkways that snake through the mangroves and you can also explore the mangroves by boat that costs around $20 and if you are very lucky you might just spot an Iriwadi freshwater dolphin. We did not go on a boat trip nor did we see dolphins but more on these dolphins in an upcoming episode. So we've emerged from the mangroves and it's really quite cool. It's like a whole maze of interlinked paths in between the mangroves. Yeah, we're surrounded by nature. Couldn't ask for anything more. And as I understand it, these mangroves that form part of the coast are really key to protecting the land behind from the rough seas. If it wasn't for the mangroves, the coastline would slowly get eroded, which would obviously be quite problematic as the land would slowly start shrinking. So it's good that they have a, a natural park here to protect the mangroves. That's it for the mangroves and later that same day we began the trip back to Phnom Penh with plans to stop at the Tatai waterfall, a large and rocky cascade located in a lush jungle along the Tatai river which flows down from the Cardamon mountains. As such the water is very clean and clear. There's also some really nice camping and glamping options. We didn't make it this time but we've been recommended for Rivers Floating Lodge so hopefully next time. That's it for Kokong, province number two of 25. And if you have any suggestions as to where we can go in the future, do feel free to reach out. We're always looking for off the beaten path travel destinations. As for episode number three, that'll be the cycling adventure I mentioned in episode number one. I'd hoped to get it out this week, but life got in the way, so I opted for this slightly shorter edit of Kokong. If you enjoy this video, as always, do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps these videos get seen, and the more people that see these videos, the higher the likelihood they will visit Cambodia, which would be great after these two rather quiet years. That's it from me, Arkun Chiran. I hope to see you in the next one. Take good care, guys.